Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Today I'm going to try to answer some of the questions that I get asked the most about voltage reducers. What is a voltage reducer? Do I need it on my golf cart? And how do I install it? Buckle up, let's get started. All right, so you're super excited. You got your lithium battery set up. You're all ready to go. And now you're scratching your head. How do I hook my headlights up or, or my 12 volt accessories? And uh, if you don't have one of these guys or something similar, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be in trouble. I've, I've seen guys uh, hook their headlights to 48 volts and poof, instantly uh, those headlight bulbs are shot and then you're looking for headlight bulbs and you still have to go put a voltage reducer in. So this little guy is going to convert 48 volts uh, or 36 volt. This will work on a 36 volt cart as well. In fact, it says right on there, uh, 36, if I can get my camera to focus, probably not, but 36 volt or 48 volt. So it's going to take the 48 volts uh, from your lithium battery setup. This will also work on lead acids. So maybe you uh, are adding headlights to the first time uh, on your lead acid cart and you need to do the same thing. So this will work for, uh, for that as well. On our demonstration purposes today, we're using lithium, but it's, it's interchangeable. Your positive and your negative from your 48 volts is gonna go in here and there's gonna be some magic involved, right? And then it's gonna come out 12 volts on the other side. So let me show you how that works. All right, our donor cart today is a 2017 Club Car Precedent. This will work on any Club Car Precedent, does not matter the year. It'll basically work on any golf cart. Uh, just keep that in mind, your wiring and everything may not be exactly the same, but the basic principle is still there. So let me remove the seat and we'll talk about how this is gonna happen. All right, in a previous episode, we uh, took this cart and converted it over to uh, a lithium setup and the, the biggest thing you'll see here is a big positive and negative terminal, okay? And that's all we really need um, to hook this voltage reducer up. Now this voltage reducer is uh, off of Amazon. I think they're about $22. Uh, I have been using these for years and years and years with absolutely no trouble. There is some videos out there, and, and it is true, um, these do drain your battery a little bit. And I don't care if it's a, a $20 one or a $120 voltage reducer, they're still going to have a little bit of a pull on your battery at all times. There is a way to avoid that, um, going through the key switch or uh, putting a relay in. But to keep this simple for, for the common folk to be able to do it, uh, I'm going to show you the simplest way to do this. If you're worried about the battery train, uh, just un, you know, you should turn your battery off at night or if you're going to have it uh, down for a few days and that will uh, reduce that. And when I say a drain, I'm talking very, very minimal. On, on this setup right here, you might lose, uh, and even without one of these, you'll still lose a little bit, uh, but you may lose 2% uh, over the course of a week or something like that. So it's not like a serious drain, but just keep that in mind that they will pull a little bit on there. All right, here's our instruction sheet. And you're going to notice uh, the positive and negative to the battery are the red and black. And uh, that's actually a fuse setup, which is really awesome. You don't have to worry about anything there. And then uh, going out to your equipment is going to be, uh, your yellow is going to be positive, And your black, of course, is negative going out to your headlights, taillights, or whatever you're trying to, to power up here. Now in this uh, particular instance, of course these wires are super short and I don't really want to mount this on top of uh, our lithium case. They do pr produce a little bit of heat, although we probably could. Either way, you're still going to need uh, a little bit of length on your wires or you're going to be absolutely uh, stretched there. Uh, I don't really recommend mounting it to the plastic, um, but that's pretty much our only place to go on here. And on the club cars, they actually have a little dish um, where it can kind of breathe behind it. So if you put it right, kind of straddle that valley, you're only uh, on the plastic on, you know, a quarter or half an inch on each side. So we'll probably mount it right here on the side, build ourselves a couple of extensions to get over to our battery, and then we'll be able to have our, uh, our 12 volts coming out for our accessories. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this battery off. That's probably the first thing we should have done. And uh, make sure we don't have any power coming out of there while we're pulling all the wires apart because that could be shocking 
put it in tow run mode of course and I buy this uh, heavy wire off of Amazon this is um, this is 14 gauge it should match pretty close to what we've got coming out of our reducer that's going to give us our positive and negative so I can cut off a little uh, strip from that we'll put some eyelets on the end here and uh, we'll go lickety split all right we've got the uh, the coating stripped back a little bit so we can get this set up on our eyelets. A fine line between shrinking it down and melting it down. I do have an electric heat gun as well, but I don't have the patience for that because it takes quite a bit longer. This end needs to be pulled back a little more. There we go. A little too much flame here, but that's okay. All right, now we've got our connections made for that. It's just as simple as mounting this in, putting this to our positive and negative on our battery, and that's going to give us our 12 volt output. Try to keep my hands out of the way as much as possible. I did go and grab some uh, self-tapping screws. So we'll put one on each side. Just like so. Slide our protective boots off of our battery. And I'll probably go ahead and tape this a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and separate these actually. Um, just because it's a little bound up on this end and I don't like having things restricted. I really like working with this um, cloth style electrical tape. It's what you see automotive manufacturers use. Um, it's just a lot easier to work with. You can cover a lot of ground and um, looks cleaner when it's done. Probably all the farther I'm going to go it gives me enough to kind of tuck it under here but still keep my leads free um, for hooking up to the battery so that should work good. Go ahead and do the positive first. Now one thing you want to keep in mind is um, when you're retightening these you don't you got to kind of clock these because you got three on here now you've got your your main for your battery you've got your charger and um, of course you've got the voltage reducer that we're hooking up. So if you stack them all in one spot they have a tendency to kind of get bent in there and you may not be able to put your cap back on all the way without putting a slot in there, which is probably what I'll have to do on this one. C 
see, like just now, I don't like the way that, where that negative is pointing. I just got to turn it just a little bit. And then we'll be able to put our caps back on. Like I said, I'll have to put a little slit in there probably. Just to kind of get them covered. Okay. We are actually hooked up. And before I turn any power to this, I'm going to probably cut this negative side off um, just so we don't get any accidental arcing together or throw a piece of tape on there. I guess I got tape right here. Don't want this to touch any metal. The only reason I'm doing this is for demonstration purposes. So you definitely don't want to have this flying around out here because you're going to hit something metal and and blow your fuse real quick, but I want to show you um, how this is working now. All right, we've got our multimeter set up on DC voltage. I don't know why I put these caps back on. I gotta get at this. We're gonna power up our battery, and I will show you that we've got probably 50. Yeah, 53.1, can you see that? 53 volts on the battery. Let me move the camera here so you can see this a little better. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and touch this voltage reducer. There you go, 12.29 coming out of our voltage reducer. Just that simple, so we're taking our 53 volts from our lead acid and we're running it through this voltage reducer we're coming out with just a hair over 12 volts for any accessories that we want to hook up now if you get crazy with accessories you're going to run, want to run this into a fuse panel and then hook all your accessories into that if you're just doing like a headlight kit you can go right to uh, your yellow wire here for your 12 volts all right, well, I hope that made sense. Uh, I wanted to answer those three main questions that I get asked all the time. Uh, what is a voltage reducer? Do I need it? And how do I install it? And hopefully we did that for you today. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to drop uh, them below and I'll answer them if I can. We'll see you next time on Car Crazy.